Hey gang, Zippo again. Same day. Guys are just uh, cramming me full of questions. I've had a question going for some time now about uh, points and condensers on these horizontal shaft engines. Uh, points are still readily available. They're kind of salty. It's about 35 bucks for a set of points with a condenser. Um, this particular set's still in good shape. I just uh, when I strip my engines down, I check for spark, make sure I've got good surfaces on my points, and if I do, I throw them in a drawer for later. And this set's barely even been used. Um, on a condenser, what you want to check for, if you're using a used condenser, even a new one, you want to inspect um, the rubber gasket at the base of the wire and make sure there's no dry checking or cracking or anything going on anywhere around it uh, where it can fail on you. If all that looks good, then your condenser is going to more than likely be good. Uh, the condenser and the points, when you take them off, uh, I'll go in reverse. Behind where you adjust, and the adjusting screw is right here for adjusting your uh, point gap. If you don't have an ignition wrench like this, just use a standard wrench that will have an end like that. And get back there and loosen your jam nut so that uh, you can back this off. But loosen your jam nut, take the screw loose that's going to re, uh, remove your condenser and also uh, loosen your wires so that you can pull your condenser wire off and pull your uh, coil wire off. You pull all that assembly off of there, there's another screw underneath the condenser. You get all three of those screws out, the whole thing will come off as a unit just like that. Um, then reinstalling is just the reverse of it. It's actually really simple. You've just got three screws. The points will self-align themselves uh, as far as left and right and up and down. They can only go in one way. And you get your condenser in place. After you get your condenser in place, you put your ignition wire in place. And then if you happen to have a kill wire, um, that's going to run to an ignition key or an ignition switch or something like that. Then you take your kill wire and stick your kill wire in there. Everything's going to align so that when you put your point cap on, um, you're not going to have uh, the wires pinched anywhere. The point caps have a groove in them right here so that both those wires, when you put the cap on, you can align those wires to come out in that spot. Um, two screws, make sure your gasket's good because if you get into any wet weather, inclement weather, you're going from a hot uh, area to a cold area or vice versa, cold area to a hot area, you're going to automatically create condensation. So you want to be sure that your gasket's in good shape and that you take a little bit of RTV black or RTV gray and put it where those wires are going to meet that groove in the cap to help keep this sealed off from the elements. Now you get caught in the rain or you're out there blowing snow with a snow blower, this side of the engine is just going to get covered uh, if you don't have uh, the shield and stuff. So make sure that this is sealed off good or you're going to have nothing but points problem. Um, in adjusting the points, adjusting the points is fairly easy too. All you've got to do is once you get the points in place is get yourself a set of feeler gauges and these particular ones get set to twenty thousandths. So I've got an eight and a twelve that equals twenty thousandths. I will make sure that my points are open so I rotate my crankshaft so that I can see a gap. If I rotate all the way around and do not see a gap, then take your ignition wrench or, or your 3 8 wrench, loosen your jam nut, and then turn the screw in. That increases your gap. Turning the screw out to the left reduces your gap. So it's just as simple as moving it in and out, moving it in and out until you've got your gap set right at 20 thousandths. Um, I've got it set a little bit tighter just so that the uh, I can talk with my hands and let those sit in there. It's actually set at about 18 thousandths right now. And that's where I got my hottest spark. Uh, another good thing to have when you're trying to set your points, if you don't have a dwell meter, um, which is kind of old school, there's a new school way to check and see if you've got good spark or not. Uh, before ever putting every button and everything up. And those two things are, this is a, an ignition tester. This is typically used on automobiles. You put this on there as you're turning it over and this will light up. 
Then you've got this type that just goes in between the coil wire and the spark plug and it lights up also. So you want to check for the hottest spark that you can get and so you, your gap may go up or down uh, as much as two thousandths in either direction. And my batteries are dying, so that's going to end this one. If you guys have any questions, you know where to find me. Zippo, signing out.